Okay, good morning. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Being with Ben Zion. Today we're starting a new parak, the seventh parak in the Dharam, Daphne and Dalid. The Gemara records the Machlokas between Rabbi Akiva and that's clear from the Gemara and Dal and the Beis. Rishon Galil is the Tanakam. They have a Machlokas when I eat, when I say I'm not going to eat vegetables. Our gourds or butternut squash, people more familiar with our pumpkins, right? Are those things included in your net or not? According to Rabbi Akiva, they are included. According to the Chalmah, you're not. The Gemara explains them like, the Chalmah say, when a person asks for vegetables, he goes, to go buy some vegetables. He means cucumbers, tomatoes, maybe some onions. He doesn't mean to say butternut squash, right? Vegetables you put in your soup, you put in your, your dish of meat, peppers or things like a bell pepper. However, when it comes to squash, butternut squash, you usually make it into a pie, a pumpkin pie or something like that. So... If there's no vegetables in the store, um, the person will consult you. The person who sent it to the store is going to consult you. They don't have vegetables. Do you want, right? Do you want pumpkins? Do you want butternut squash? So according to Rikiva, if he's if it's close enough to a vegetable that he consult you, it's considered part of the nether. According to Rabbana, it's not considered part of the nether. So McMurray makes a statement that even according to Rikiva. It says that you'd violate your nether if you made a nether not to eat vegetables and then you went ahead and ate a pumpkin. You would violate your nether because it's something that a shliach would consult you. So it's included in your nether. Nonetheless, you wouldn't get malchus even though you violate your nether seemingly. You're not allowed to do it. You violate your nether. Even dal rice says seemingly. You wouldn't get malchus. So it's hard to explain, explain this. So the way most Mepharshim explain it is that even according to Akiva, gourds are not necessarily included in vegetables. It's a suffix. That's all I meant to say. According to the Rabbana, it's definitely not included in your net. According to Rabbi Kiva, it's a suffix. So the of the Chumra. So the of the Chumra. So therefore, you, you can't violate the nether. You can't eat the pumpkins. You can't eat the butternut squash. However, you can't get malchus because you don't give punishments on a suffix. Right? <clears throat> That's the simple answer. But it really can't make sense because the, the, the next Gemara, when it talks about Me'ila over here, the Gemara says... <clears throat> That when I come, when I send my shliach to go do me'ila, all right, to, to benefit from consecrated property of the base on Migdash. So if the Mishnah says that if the shliach does his shlichus, the balabai is his mal, the person who sent him does me'ila. If he doesn't, then the shliach is mal. And the Gemara wants to suggest that according to Rabbi Akiva, it can be according to Rabbi Akiva. According to Rabbi Akiva, the, the case is talking about liver. He says, give meat to the orchim, and he gives them the beef liver. So is liver considered meat or not considered meat? So it's something like our Mishnah where the person, the butler, would consult with the Balabayas and ask him, "Is did you mean that or not? So according to Rabbi Akiva, it should be included in the net there. And therefore, if he gave liver to the guests, he should, the, the Balabayas should get me'ila. Now how can it be the Balabayas should get me'ila? If the whole idea is a suffix, right? It's, we're not sure over here if it was included in your net. Even according to Rabbi Akiva, it's suffix darayis al so by Me'ila, it's a din, din mominus over there, right? You have to pay back hectish. And you also have to add a chomish. These are din mominus. So hamotzi mechaber al araya. It's really just a suffix. How could the Gemara assert, according to Rebekiva, it should have said balabayas mal on a suffix. Balabayas mal on a suffix? How could you do Me'ila? Me'ila is a din mominus. Hamotzi mechaber al araya. So therefore, I'm forced to say no. According to Rebekiva, when he says that pumpkins and butternut squash is included in Yerakos and Kaveh, is included in Basar. He means a Torah's Vada, and not a Torah's Safik. Definitely is included. However, the only difference is, is that when it comes to the Dharam, there's two Isurim del Raisa. There's an Isra of Balyach al Dvaro, right, which is a law. You can't violate your words. The Magmara is clear. Mishnah on Ted Vav, Ted Zion. You get Malchus for that. You violate that. <clears throat> By doing a Maisa, right, to violate your words. Um, there's also, the Gemara mentions, I think, on Dav Gimel, on the base, right, where there's an essay by, by Nadara, it's really by Carbono, it's called Yosemi Piv Yase. Anything that uh, your mouth emits, you have to do. Now, that's not a lot, that's an essay. So, when it comes to over here, he takes a Nadar, I'm not Konam Yoroko Zala. I'm not going to eat vegetables. And then, he eats a squash, a pumpkin. So, he ate a pumpkin, is that included? So, Rabbi Kiva says, it's something that, he, he, the, the shliach will consult him. Did you want pumpkins? There's no vegetables in the store. Did you want pumpkins? Since it's something that he might consult him, so therefore it's considered part of the nether. 
But maybe Rakiva means it's only considered part of the nether in terms of one of these two. Because what are these two is one of these two Dine Torah? According to the Din Torah of Balyachal Dvaro, right? Even Rabbi Akiva Moda says, don't be mechalal, don't make chulin, right? Don't make non kodesh not not kodesh your words. So what were your words over here? Your words were Yerakos, right? Kiva says it falls into the category of nether, but maybe it falls into the category of nether only in terms of kol yotzi and pivyasa. Kol is an inclusionary word. Kol, anything which comes out of my mouth. So Rikiva would say it's not directly exactly what he asked from him. So even when Kiva is, is moda, it's not directly. When he says that it's part of your nether, it's only part of your nether in terms of kol yotzi and pivyasa because that includes anything, right? Vegetables are lapped off, but mean exactly pumpkins, but it's close enough. So it's, it falls into the mitzvah's essay, whatever your mouth says you have to do. So that's included. However, Bal Yachal Dvaro is specific. Dvaro, exact Dibor. Even in Akiva's Moda, it's not exactly part of your Dibor. Since he has to consult you whether he actually wants pumpkins or not, did you mean pumpkins or vegetables? Even though it's good enough to be included in Kal Yosef Hivyasa, and there's a nether del rice over, you're not allowed to violate nether del rice because of the Kal Mitzvah's essay, right? And if you violate your nether, you violate uh, not doing a mitzvah's essay. But not doing a mitzvah's essay doesn't carry the penalty of Malchus. Malchus is only for a losa essay. So therefore, it's not included in Bayachal Faro because it's not specific, it's not exact. You didn't exactly violate Bayachal Faro. Call Yosef Hivyasa, you did violate. Therefore, it is Del Raisa, but Torah's Vada. However, you wouldn't get Malchus because you didn't violate Bayachal Faro, according to Regiva. I think that's the correct explanation. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.